As the House of Representatives inaugurates its standing committees, former Speaker of the Fifth Assembly, Ghani Na Aba, is appealing to the newly elected uh, and inaugurated committees not to act as auditors to the ministries, departments and agencies, but to oversee them. A National Assembly correspondent, Clara Ekiba, has details in the support. The inauguration of the standing committees of the House of Representatives is a long-standing tradition in the National Assembly, and these committees form the engine in which the House and the Parliament works. The ceremony had in attendance the representatives of ministries, departments and agencies, service chiefs, former clerks, former speakers, former House leaders, among others. The leader of the House, Adodogua, welcomes all Welcome present for the inauguration. Then former Speaker of the Fifth Assembly, Gali Naba, addresses the lawmakers that the committees are not auditors to the MDAs, but to oversee them. In any case, because I believe that uh, members of the parliament, members of the legislature, are not auditors. When it is time to audit, you have the staff that are supposed to be visiting these ministries and individuals. But it is not for the legislators to be going to talk to the government ministries. Former clerk of the National Assembly, Ibrahim Salim, in his lecture on fostering a better relationship between the legislature and the executives say, the independence of the legislature is derived from the constitution. The complicity of governance necessitates growing interrelationship among the branches of government in practice that through checks and balances they can work harmoniously in a bid to ensure that no single branch gains absolute power over the other. Indeed, the National Assembly or the legislature as a whole, if you have monumental, immense powers, you have expressed powers. Former Director General of the National Institute of Legislative Studies, Ladi Hamalai, also says the committees must be properly funded to carry out their duties to avoid them being compromised. There's very little legislative committees can do if they are not effectively funded. Oversight visits, training, public hearings, inquiry, analysis of bills referred, all gazilla money. Without funds, these committees cannot be carried. Without funds, these activities cannot be carried through. Now the inauguration of the standing committees by the Speaker, Femi Gwajabiamina. But before then, he appeals to the MDAs to cooperate and collaborate with the committees. Let me use this opportunity to appeal to the ministries, departments and agencies of government for their cooperation and collaboration. It is only through our joint efforts that we can meet the objectives of this administration and keep the promises we have made to the Nigerian people. We in the House of Representatives intend without reservation to exercise the full authority of the legislature as it relates to the oversight of the MDAs. And by the powers vested in me through the Constitution and the House rules, I hereby inaugurate the standing committees of the House. The committees are expected to commence work immediately as the inaugural meeting holds and the House Committee on Finance will tomorrow, Thursday, at plenary present the medium-term expenditure framework. Gloria Kiba, Co. TV News, Abuja.